Fox and Friends very concerned about the uh, the lack of an indictment of Darren Wilson, so they decided to have his friend uh, Jeff Rorda on of the St. Louis Police Officers Associate Association to talk about the true <coughs> victim in this case, but it's not who you probably think. Here's the first of a few videos. This is a Fox News alert. People across the country who have nothing to do with the case in Ferguson are reacting to the grand jury's decision not to indict Officer Darren Wilson with violence and looting. It's really hard not to use the worst possible word here for her. Like cookie? A, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's a real cookie. I have yeah. nothing to do with it. All yeah. those Tea Party protests, that's how she introed every one of them. <laughs> yeah, she right. got nothing to do with these issues. Right, you're a bunch of people whose taxes aren't being raised and haven't mm -hmm. been raised all in those, some time. All yeah. those people who showed up at Clive and Bundy's, they had nothing, nothing to, to do, do with it. it. Exactly. Nothing to do with it. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah, I love that you brought that up. They pointed guns at the federal <laughs> at the officials there. Yeah, complete yes. yeah, guns at federal officials, direct, just uh, 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 ignored, the, I guess, the oh, cop, every cop who could have shot Clive and Bundy. Yes. He refused a direct order and he was armed. Yeah. Should have put Clive and Bundy down. Yes. Yeah. Also, they, clearly would have been acquitted. Yes. And the cops would have been acquitted. Yeah. Mean, I guess those Fox people, you could stop, you could shut up about uh, Waco. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, so there, obviously, the intro I mean, was inflammatory at best. But here, it's also, uh, it's also just it's it's beyond that because I, she's so dumb and she so doesn't belong on TV. As long as we're talking about people, I, I, I'm curious whether she's dumb or just, you know, not a racist, but sort of, you know, wildly racially insensitive. Mm -hmm. I mean, she doesn't get that there's an entire <laughs> swath of. 14% of the population, of which 90% of that population, mm -hmm. has felt perhaps at one time or another uh, <clears throat> pushed around, manipulated, yeah. ignored by the very people designed to protect yeah. them, where they're seen constantly, no matter what they do, as felons. And here's an example of that in our country, yeah. because it is a country, and we all feel, I don't know, I feel connected to the people in Ferguson. I, I do. Feel, I feel connected to people in Las Vegas. I feel connected to people in Indiana, because we're all Americans. Yeah. So. Does she just not do that, or is she just trying to yeah. make a little point? Like, what is what is it? Why are you protesting? Yeah. And you, you don't have to say that you agree well, with them or that they're right to feel well, that I, way. I, Play I, fucking devil's advocate. They believe this is part of a pattern. Right. You can just say that as a journalist. I love that you're or say nothing. Here's what's happening in New York. Yeah. Um, here's the. Uh, but I love your the point about the, the Clive and Bundy and, and the Tea Party people. I mean, or maybe you made it. I don't know. It was I a made it. Yeah. Flabbo. Over here, don't try to take credit, yeah. fucking Todd, Chuck Todd. Jimmy, Tyler. I love that point you made. I thought it was okay, okay, so while they're really talking, great. we're going to go to the second clip where Jeff Rorda uh, makes his uh, appearance on Fox and Friends. What did Officer Wilson have to share with you that you can tell us this morning? Well, Elizabeth, uh, you know, his thoughts, uh, which is obvious from his statement, are with his uh, brothers and sisters in, in law enforcement. Uh, is he fearful for his own family's safety and his own? Did he make remarks with regard to that? Well, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about uh, about when or how I talked to him uh, or, or his whereabouts, uh, but the, obviously safety is a, a grave concern for of him course. and his family. Uh, I have to add something to that. So the, the full quote, and the quote that pisses me off the most about this interview is he said, uh, his thoughts are with his brothers and sisters in law enforcement, and then skipping two sentences ahead, you can imagine him sitting on the sidelines while officers are in harm's way as a result of something that happened to him. Something that happened the to him. The same despicable passive language that George Zimmerman used in the wake of what happened to him with Trayvon Martin. They didn't do anything. They had no agency. They're not adults. They're not men. Things just happened to them, and it hurts them so much deep down inside. Boy, you know, Darren Wilson, though, when you think about it, must be furious. I mean, like in a murderous rage over all the jaywalking happening during the protests. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, more from Darren Wilson uh, tonight on a on, uh, with uh, George Stephanopoulos with George mm -hmm. Stephanopoulos. Um, uh, and that's going to be hard hitting. I bet. I, I hope he brings his A game like he did when he interviewed Dennis Rodman about going to Korea, because that's the only <laughs> time that fucking guy asked a hard question. <laughs> the uh, he, by the way, just a little preview. Uh, Darren Wilson says there's no way Michael Brown put his hands up, uh, and that he felt fear for his life. He there's no way, dead. even though there's videotape of those contractors mm -hmm. who were in the neighbor right down the block who saw him put his hands up. Yeah. We saw that videotape. Mm -hmm. oh, so I, I'm sure George Snuff Lubbock is going to hold his feet to the fire. I can't wait. Yeah. I, you know what? If you need to lose weight, I would suggest tuning in tonight to George Nuffleupagus interviewing Darren Wilson because you're going to be puking the whole fucking time. <laughs> uh, he also said uh, that his conscience is clean. So yeah. it's not even and like he would do things the same way. Do things the same way. Many uh, racists, after killing a young black unarmed kid, will have a clean conscience. That's in true. fact, they will be upset they didn't inflict more pain on him and his family, like the racist Darren Wilson is. I, you know, I mean, why? 
you don't have, why nobody in this country seems to have it in them of saying, I'm thrilled that I'm not going to prison. I was in a difficult situation. I don't know whether I made the right decision, but I know that I'm scared out of my mind. I regret every second that that happened. I'll live yeah. with the rest of my life. Well, just like at least <clears throat> throw us that fucking yes. bone. The final video from Fox and Friends with that friend of Darren Wilson. What would his family uh, want to say, in your opinion, to the family of Michael Brown? Uh, you know, hearing that he did not receive the consequence that he deserved can't fall easily on their ears. Well, uh, of course not. You know, we uh, we believe in a system of, 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 of justice in this country, and uh, Prosecutor McCullough, to his credit, uh, introduced every single piece of physical evidence, every witness, every witness statement, every piece of forensic evidence, and now he's being criticized harshly for, for introducing all that evidence. Imagine a tsunami of criticism that would have followed if he'd have withheld even one piece of evidence. There it is. There it is. God damn it, man. You're being had. That's not how grand juries work. I'm not even a lawyer, but I took a couple of classes and I read stories and I covered courts and as Chip, everybody knows it. You don't have to have had any kind of background in it. You watch Law and Order. That's not how grand juries work. Yes. You literally don't present all the evidence. You present your side. Yeah. Your side. Because when you go to a... Because you want an <clears throat> indictment if you're a prosecutor. Right. By the way, uh, if they return the an bad indictment... Thing. He did present his side. It, right. He did. Yeah. Right. He presented his side, and his side, side was Dan Wilson's wanted. side. And you know what? If a grand jury returns an indictment, you can downgrade the charges. You can say, no, it's not murder. It's manslaughter. It's something else. Yeah. You, you have wide prosecutorial uh, discretion. Uh, he chose none of those things. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't take a big stand on whether that guy should have been recused. I didn't know that he was 0 for 4, now 0 for 5 against getting indictments. Not prosecutions. Indictments. Indictments yeah. against indictments. Cops, That's a death penalty. cops who indictments. shot and killed unarmed. unarmed people. Can't get one indictment. But the way that law, we started the show with it, the way that law is written in Missouri, that law is written by horrible people. That is a crazy law. It appears that if put up before the Supreme Court, it wouldn't even pass the standard of Tennessee versus Garner, which requires that you fear for your life. Yeah. Although with the current Supreme Court, maybe. Yeah, you never know. Right. So they just uh, revealed, them. you know what, the thing about, it, it's, 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 you know, Elizabeth Hasselbeck and the people like that, you know, it's, uh, it's, they just reveal who they are. It doesn't say anything about anything else except the kind of people that they, she just reveals her cravenness as a human being. Yeah. And of course, the, the, to the two foreigners who own Fox News, the <laughs> Australian and the Saudi prince who own them, they could give a shit about America. They're not a fucking, even, they're not even from America. So the people on Fox News, anti-American, the uh, people who own it, anti-America, and she's definitely hurting the culture.